Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about Bootstrap and Material. Keep watching to determine which of these web development platforms is better for your project. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. Let's start with the basics. What are Bootstrap and Material? Well, Bootstrap created by Twitter is a free open source CSS framework for building responsive websites and web applications. It's used by Twitter, Dropbox, Apple Music, Airbnb, Coursera. Material Design was created by Google. It provides an exhaustive framework for creating websites and applications with high interactive and mobile first UI with responsive designs. It's used by NASA, Amazon, Unity, JP Morgan. Sounds similar and hard to choose between them, right? Let's compare Material Design and Bootstrap. The first aspect is browser compatibility. In this category, Bootstrap and Material are evenly matched, as both provide developers with a website that seamlessly adapts to different browsers. The second aspect to consider is responsive grid system. And, these two design tools use a 12-grid system based on columns with similar structure and class names. The Bootstrap grid system uses containers, rows, and columns, while Material's 12-grid system uses columns, gutters, and margins. The third criterion is customization. Although Bootstrap and Material are both easily customizable, we have to admit that Material Design offers more options for customizations. Let's review key differences between Bootstrap and Material. The first difference lies in their design intent. Material design focuses on how various design elements interact to create an aesthetically pleasing website that is also mobile friendly. But Bootstrap is more concerned with making websites and web apps responsive and functional. The next point of difference is account dependencies. With tons of scripts, features, CSS classes, and jQuery dependency, Bootstrap has proven to be a complex framework. In contrast, Material Design has React-based components that are independent of each other. It reminds us of our blog post on React speed and performance. Find the link in the description box. It's worth checking out. Considering design process and components, it's necessary to admit that Bootstrap provides developers with a standard default system for creating easy websites and web applications. Material offers a wide range of features for creating eye-catching websites with bold colors and engaging animations. And what would you choose for your project? A standard default system or wide customization opportunities? Share your thoughts under the video. Discussing consistency and uniqueness. There is a high level of consistency between Bootstrap-based websites and applications, making them very intuitive and user-friendly, but at the same time, not unique. When you think of creating a different and truly unique website, we advise choosing Material. And finally, considering their community support, Bootstrap has a large and active online developers community. The Material also offers community support for developers, but it doesn't quite measure up to what Bootstrap already has in place. Now it's time to go into the details. What is Bootstrap best for? Are there any drawbacks? Watch further to find out. Bootstrap is currently one of the most used UI libraries for developers. It offers an impressive collection of themes available. It requires minimal design skills, very little imagination, and almost no creativity. Although the Bootstrap framework is set for both professionals and beginner developers, it has a couple of drawbacks. So, first of all, it's a bit too consistent, as all Bootstrap-based websites have an uncanny resemblance to each other, and it can be too bulky making it unsuitable for simple websites. So now, let's review what Material is best for. Well, while Bootstrap has the primary aim of helping developers make responsive websites fast, Material Design is focused on enabling developers to create the best UI UX they can imagine. But it still has a few drawbacks. Among them, we define that it's too comprehensive and can overwhelm beginner developers as they may feel lost in the vast and complex design specification, and some designs are not very intuitive. So choosing between Bootstrap or Material depends solely on what project you're working on and what objectives you are striving to achieve. After all, 
You can use both of them in your project if necessary. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the experience of using the best tools and technologies. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like this video and press the bell button. Bye for now.